Good job. Some little socks out to you, don't you? He's proper stopped, haven't he? He's closed his eyes. <laughs> He's like a little old man. <laughs> Get out of my face, man. <laughs> you look like you've been on an all night drinking sesh, don't you? Open his eyes. She looked like that. So we're about day two. Um, at home now, um, starting to feel a little bit more normal. Um, I had um, a better night's sleep last night, so um, woke up feeling fresh and I uh, thought that we'd update you on another blog. So, um, as you can see, the house is all full of baby stuff, a bit untidy and unorganised, as to be expected with um, a newborn. Um, so, um, Let's go upstairs and um, we'll show you a um, um, new camera that we've just got set up which is really really good and um, really good for peace of mind. Um, so let's uh, see what Darren and Tegan's up to too. Oh, I've got our first, very first letter so um, I'll open that in a second and see what that's about. Um, but first I'll show you Axel's little crib. He's um, it's just started getting used to it. He didn't like to sleep anywhere other than someone's arms, but as, as you can see, he's getting used to his own space now, which is good. It means more sleep for us. And um, this is his um, camera thing here, which um, I'll show you properly. And I'll um, show you what that does. Um, it's pretty cool. How are you getting on with the um, sleep deprivation? So I've just got this letter, do you want to talk and see what it's about? And we'll see what Tegan's up to. Tegan's um, penthouse suite up in the attic. What are you doing? Alright, cool. So I'll get changed and then we'll uh, take Axel out for his first bit of fresh air, his first pram ride. Yeah? Well, you're going to have to push it because I'm going to struggle with having this yeah. area. Oh, she wants to put makeup on now. Oh, she's going to put makeup on. She's Twelve year old started already. I mean, it has gone. <laughs> yeah, you can just let her. Um, it's just basically um, the health visitors wanting to come out and do a new baby visit and also to arrange an appointment between six and eight weeks um, just to do his checks. I think it's always just his checks and his weight and his things and all of the things for, you know, the little baby red books that they get. So, um, yeah, it's um, still can't believe his ear. So it's brilliant. Okay, so the um, baby monitor that I wanted to show you, the security camera, is um, the BT. 7500 um, light show video monitor um, from BT um, so I'll show you a picture in the vlog of that and the um, reason I wanted to show you it and do like a little kind of review is just to show you how fantastic it is and how good it is for peace of mind so um, this is the, the main unit thing and it just like stands on the top here it just plugs in and um, it basically has a display screen and on that display screen it has um, all the different options that you can do. Okay so I've put um, a little cot toy teddy bear in um, baby's next to me crib just um, for demonstration purposes and um, I'm just going to quickly go through all the different options on um, this um, little monitor that you can do. So up in the top left here we've got um, um, all the different things that we can put on. So we can put on a night light um, and control it from this main unit and it sends a message to the, to the unit next to the crib, uh, which is this little device here. So um, we can turn the night light on and off from this section here. So if I was downstairs and I was looking at the video and I wanted to put the night light on, for little baby and um, just go to this section here and then click on 
and then the night light comes on um, so it just glows up like an orange colour it's not too clear with it being daylight but um, yeah, I'll show you when I close the blackout blinds in just a second um, how bright that goes and what we also have is um, a light show um, so I'll just turn that off and we can click on to the um, light show and on or we can put timer on as well um, so um, we can, if we want to just put it on for 10 minutes 15 minutes timer on and click on and then the light show comes on um, which you can't see too clearly when it's daylight like this so let's just um, close this Still a lot better when there's no TV on um, or any other light coming through doors. Let's see, I'm just turn the TV out and then What we also have on here, which is um, my two favourite um, settings, is it has a temperature um, little thing here which test the temperature of the room the baby's in um, from this little hub thing here and um, it also has a light on um, here so when the light's amber it means that it's in the right um, bracket for temperature and green also is the right temperature if it drops too cold so if it drops below 16 degrees then it, it turns um, blue that light and if it goes above 21 degrees then it turns red and it sends a signal to this device and then it warns you so an alarm goes off and it tells you whether it's too hot or if it's too cold so at the moment it's 18 degrees so um, it's, it's optimum temperature really for a baby you want between 16 and 20 degrees and um, so that's really really useful um, also the camera on it we can um, change the camera and we can move it around and um, so we can see who's coming in through the door so if we lift it up here we can see that Darren's just walked in hi and <laughs> um, so that's that's and then we'll just pop it back down to the crib and there we go and the last little section I want to show you is lullaby so we can play room noises um, classical music uh, lullabies and so on and so on so we just press play here and it sends a signal and it sends the room noises through this bit here okay so yeah overall um, a good little um, a good little setup really it's a really really handy device um, um, brilliant really they are a little bit on the expensive side they usually retail at about 180 pounds um, we got this one on eBay um, brand new for 115 so um, there are bargains to be had if you shop around So off out on our first ever walk. Tegan's having to do the honours of pushing the pram. So I'm not supposed to push for six weeks. Six weeks seems a bit excessive to be honest, but must do as I'm told. The foundation patch, yeah. <laughs> There's bad lighting. It looks but fine. My eyebrows are on Tegan, you look nice. Yeah. The whole street's been dug up. Didn't think the um, bin men were going to be able to get along here today. But, um, sorry, yesterday, but they did, thank God, with all the extra nappies taking up the space. I'm glad they ended up coming. Guys, go off past here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at Axel. All snug. There's a bug in a rug. 
It looks really cosy, that cot's a huge animal. You can tell Tegan's never drove a pram before. How do you get up a path though when it's slanted and all those things and different 